Hi, I'm Jim Stroud. Do you know what artificial empathy is? It's when AI systems detect and respond to humans in an empathic way. Imagine calling into a call center to complain about a product and a very human sounding voice hears your distress and talks in a soothing way to calm you down and fix your issue. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I discuss the pros and cons of artificial empathy next on The Jim Stroud Show. This episode of The Jim Stroud Show is brought to you by AI for Talent, the virtual AI conference dedicated to AI and the future of work. Coming in the fall of 2023, sign up on the waiting list now and get notified the moment it launches. And by Deep Real, the AI content generation platform I use to make today's episode. Enjoy. Artificial empathy is when AI interprets your mood by reading your facial expressions listening to your voice and interpreting your body language. Artificial empathy can be useful in a variety of applications, like companion robots, virtual agents, and healthcare. Petting his head, <laughs> belly, <laughs> and his back. <laughs> For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? Oh, uh, John. My name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. I love spending time with seniors because they're so friendly and hospitable. The humanoid robot listens when people speak, then generates a response. We are hoping that the interactions with Grace could give them a space to vent, to be actively listened to. One company leading the way in artificial empathy is Cogito, pioneers in what they call emotion AI. Here's a quote from their website. Cogito was founded in 2007 from MIT research on how to give frontline teams tools to handle difficult conversations. We pioneered Emotion AI, the ability to analyze the voice to understand a speaker's emotional state and deliver recommendations to steer the conversation on the challenging issue of helping veterans with PTSD and other mental health disorders. We equip nurses to more accurately identify symptoms of depression and risk levels for suicide during routine calls. Using Emotion AI, they can listen beyond the words and hear the emotion in the tone of veterans' voices. While artificial empathy has the potential to revolutionize various industries, it also raises ethical concerns. Here are the pros and cons of artificial empathy. Potential benefits of artificial empathy. Improved health care. Artificial empathy can be used to detect and respond to human emotions in healthcare settings, such as detecting pain and discomfort in patients. Enhanced customer service. Artificial empathy can be used in customer service to detect and respond to customer emotions, leading to better customer satisfaction. And improved mental health. Artificial empathy can be used to detect and respond to mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. But there are also potential drawbacks of artificial empathy, such as lack of true empathy. While artificial empathy can detect and respond to human emotions, it cannot truly empathize with humans as it lacks the ability to feel emotions. Ethical concerns. There are concerns about the potential misuse of artificial empathy, such as using it to manipulate people's emotions. And then there are limitations in healthcare. AI cannot provide consciously empathetic attention as empathy is based on conscious and unconscious mental experiences that AI lacks. In other words, it doesn't have that gut instinct. But is it truly possible for humans to accept artificial empathy over the real thing? In at least one case, it's already happened. So the question that I really think we should ask, and it's a controversial one, like can AI be empathetic? Can AI demonstrate empathy? And I actually believe, although it's an easy question to ask, it's actually the wrong one. I think the question to ask is can AI mimic empathy in a way that is useful? Just like we've learned to mimic intelligence, it's not quite like human intelligence, but it's intelligence of a form in a way that's useful to us. And that is a much more tractable question to answer. If we did that, then what we would have is, I believe, something called artificial empathy, or AE. So, if we have AE, 
I guess one of the questions is, do we have it now? Do the, do the models that we have at the moment, do they do that well enough? So this is a study from JAMA uh, last month very recent. There's a lot of kind of words going on, but the most important bit is the bit underlined in red, which is you took a well-known social media forum. There were posts. Those posts were answered by uh, clinicians and by uh, chat GPT. And then another set of patients were asked to um, evaluate those uh, responses on a scale of like quality and empathy. And the punchline is the chatbot responses were preferred over physician responses and rated significantly higher for both quality and empathy. But I'm curious, what do you think about all this? Leave a comment below and let's have a conversation. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with more exciting content. Your support means the world to me and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Stroud out. <laughs>